I ended up responding to a 911 call where a 39-year-old female got struck by lightning. Code blue, which... In the eye of the storm. But you were a paramedic before <laughs> you started doing the music thing. In a, in a quick overview, the nuts and bolts of it were, first of all, being a paramedic, that job changed my life so much, so quickly. It just woke me up so fast. And it gave me an incredible... Um, just it shifted every perspective that I had. I thought just my paradigms of judging people and, and it made me a lot more gracious and a lot more tender. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and fast forward, I, I started playing guitar when I was 18. I always wanted to, my dream was to someday do music full time. I had no idea how that would ever work or if I would ever be able to do that. But I was playing local acoustic open mic nights and coffee shops around our city. And, and working as a paramedic full-time, 48 hours a week. Mm -hmm. And um, I was getting pretty burned out. You know, I was seven years in mm -hmm. to my paramedic career, and I, I was liking it. You know, it was a great job. Um, but I really had this itching to start playing music again. Well, I ended up responding to a 911 call where a 39-year-old female got struck by lightning. The dispatch call came out as a lightning strike, code blue, which means the patient is not breathing you know wow. they're so we would get there and she's dead upon our arrival and she was out hiking with her mom and her two little boys you know fast forward i i knew she wasn't going to make it so i just tell my team load her in the ambulance and i will work on her on the way to the hospital in the back of the ambulance i you know i put a tube in her lungs started breathing for her we started doing really great cpr i got a couple ivs going and we revived her wow she made a full recovery the, you know, fast forwarding again, months later after she got out of rehab, um, she got connected with me mm. and found out that I was a local musician who was also a paramedic. But in my off time, I was playing little gigs around town. And the more she got to know me, the more she just she she loved me. And, and there was and in, and I want to just make note that her and I are very different. Um, mm. We are politically and spiritually on opposite sides of the planet, but she just loved me. And when mm. you intervene in somebody's life like that, to yeah. that degree, you you end up having this kind of kindred connection with them. And so she just said, Ryan, I, I want to be there for you. If you ever need me, I want to help you. And I said, well, you know, I I have this opportunity to go into a recording studio to, to make a demo because I've been writing songs sure. for 12 years since college, since wow. I got my first guitar. And so she she got a retroactive disability check in the mail from her lightning strike. And it was in the exact amount that I needed to get into the doors of the studio. Whoa. And she's what? like, I know, I know what that check is for. Wow. So she sent me off with that check and I recorded five songs. I had I had 50 songs, you know, I was like, <laughs> and I recorded five. And that that batch of music that she helped me that she funded essentially uh, ultimately led me, you know, down the path of getting a recording deal and, and brushing shoulders with the guy named Toby Mack. And uh, the rest is just, wow, just kind of history. And it been a wild, crazy, wonderful journey since then. But that's, I get asked that question all the time. How'd you stop being a paramedic? And, and going to full time yeah. Christian music, I'm like, well, that's going to take a minute. But in a <laughs> nutshell, it was it was unbelievable. So, and I just saw on Instagram where you posted that she showed up to one of your shows recently, she like did. last month, right? Well, that's an older picture, but I was just we were playing out in Boise, Idaho, where I was a paramedic, where I where I responded to her call, and she's she's doing great, and she's my biggest fan still that's to this awesome. day. Awesome. Once a year, you know, I mean, she texts me a bunch, but every year on the anniversary of her lightning strike, she always texts me. Thank you. Wow. And uh, so I invited her. I was like, hey, I'm playing at the Taco Bell Arena tonight with Toby Mack. Do you want to come? And she's like, I'd love to. Hmm. And so she came and I showed her all around the arena and I got her awesome seats, you know, right down there by yeah. me. And it was just like, and she met, you know, and then seeing her and Toby connect like Toby I grew up on DC Talk and they were they were massive inspirations in my life and to be working with Toby 25 years later after I'm out of junior high <laughs> you know and then and then her intervening in my life it's like these two these two pinnacle people in my life 
meeting each other was so special to me to see Toby and her and and me together at this environment on a hits deep massive you know sold out arena show and we're all just it was emotional man wow 